Well, hey guys, it has been a while since I have chatted with you about hair care products I am loving. And in this video, I have a ton of hair care empties that I've been saving for you all, stuff I've actually finished up in its entirety, shampoos, conditioners, conditioning, hair masks, you name it. I have it here, so we're gonna go through that in this video. But if you missed my recent skincare empties video, I will link it down below. Definitely check that out so you can see all the skincare products I finished up. And of course, later on, I will be coming out with my sunscreen empties video. So make sure you have the bell notification on and you're subscribed, that way you know when that video goes live. I've been using Function & Beauty shampoo and conditioner for several years now um, and I love it. It's fully customizable hair care products that you can get, they deliver it right to your door. It's just like really convenient. I always get the fragrance free option. Uh, they also have a body wash and a lotion. I've tried both of those and they're very good. Um, but the nice thing about it is you can kind of customize the products to meet your individual hair type needs. You can select the type of fragrance that you want or you can choose fragrance free. And you can also choose the strength of your fragrance in your hair care product, which I think is kind of cool because some people like a really strongly scented shampoo, others just like a light scent. Then you can choose what kind of hair goals you want the shampoo and conditioner to address. The goal I typically select is shine and I love these. Keep repurchasing them and I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys about how happy you have been with these. Yeah, I've been using Sh Function of Beauty for several years now and it always makes an appearance in my empties videos. So I finished the shampoo and conditioner up and you know you can get your name printed on the bottle which I think is fun. Speaking of Function of Beauty, you also can get their products in Target. Now you can't customize them as much as you can with the online stuff but it's you know convenient. Um, the only thing about the ones in store is you cannot get fragrance free. But I um, finished the shampoo and conditioner of the Wavy. Love these. Uh, I have Wavy here, but I blow dry it straight. And the scent, I love. It's very tropical. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice fragrance. Very like a tropical scent. Now the Function of Beauty that you can buy in Target, they sell these little like pods that um, kind of address the hair goal that you can also get. And then you can just add the pod to the, the new bottle of shampoo or conditioner, shake it up, and you have that feature. The conditioner has argan oil and shea butter, sunflower seed oil. It leaves the hair very manageable, soft, shiny, supple. Shampoo does a good job cleansing without you know making your hair brittle. I really like these. They've got uh, the shampoo and conditioner for a variety of hair types. They've got one for curly hair, coily hair, straight hair. Definitely check them out the next time you're in Target, especially if you don't want to do the whole ordering thing online, you don't like that. Try the ones in Target, they're good. You know, they're really good. Um, okay, the Sun Balm shampoo and conditioner. I discovered these, I think, two, a, a year and a half, two years ago, last year, I can't remember and I love them. I have been sleeping on this brand's shampoo and conditioner for a long time now, but the Curls and Waves shampoo and conditioner, first of all, they are they do have fragrance. I love the scent. Um, let me see. It's kind of a coconutty, beachy scent. The other thing I like about these is they do have some UV filters that I guess deposit on the hair strands. It may help add a little bit of extra protection to the hair strands from weathering. Uh, not gonna offer uh, skin protection like sunscreen would, but maybe help your, your hair strands stay a little bit more protected from UV rays. And that's gonna be especially helpful for people, first of all, who have blonde hair, uh, more prone to weathering than uh, brown or black hair, and people who have color-treated hair. It is a lot more vulnerable to weathering from UV. Um, this, the shampoo also has kukui nut oil, coconut oil, seaweed protein. When I use this, I just find that my hair is super manageable, bouncy, hydrated. I mean, these are things I look for. There's no buildup with it. I really like it. And the other thing I like about this is you only need a little bit to get a nice lather. I'm somebody who likes lather. If I don't get lather, I, I'm in a state of disbelief. Like I just don't believe that it's doing anything. Speaking of lather, I did finish the Ordinary's Sulfate 4% Cleanser for Body and Hair, as well as the Betrimonium Chloride 2% Conditioner. This, there's no lather and it's like, are, are you even up there doing anything? It's, 
Yeah, very hard to believe it's actually cleansing, but it does a good job. It's a very gentle shampoo. I actually ended up um, really liking these out, really liking these a lot. They're pretty affordable. And the shampoo, you can also use as a body wash. Uh, works well, it's pretty gentle. I will say this, for me personally, I didn't would not use this as necessarily a daily shampoo because it's very mild and I didn't quite, I found that if I used it on a daily basis, my hair started look, looking like it had maybe a little bit of a buildup, it looked a little dull. Uh, but it's a, a great option to use a couple of times a week. If you use a lot of hair care products, styling products, you may find that this is not gonna be adequate to remove that buildup. But if you have hair that is more prone to breakage, I think this would be a good option for you. Let me know, I know a lot of you guys have tried it out and you've been happy with it. For me, it was definitely one that I would repurchase, but again, I did find it was a little, a little gen too gentle for like perhaps removing product buildup. And if used daily, I did find my hair started to look a little dull, but if used a couple of times a week, it left my hair very soft, bouncy, manageable, and it was otherwise good. All right, here's a drugstore brand of shampoo that I really like. It's Garnier Fructis, uh, their Pure Clean Hair Reset. And I have used all the shampoos in this line. I love them all. This is the hydrating shampoo. This one is actually kind of similar to the ordinary one, only it does have fragrance. If you incorporate styling products into your routine, I do recommend incorporating a clarifying shampoo, like maybe once a week. This one by Garnier Fructis is really good. I finished it up. Uh, and you just want, it, clarifying shampoos, they have the surfactants a lot stronger, so it really helps to remove that buildup. But if you used a clarifying shampoo on a daily basis, it would leave your hair very brittle and dry. It's really only meant to be used like once a week. This one's great. I have a video, by the way, of like clarifying shampoo recommendations. It is older than this product, the video is, so that's why it's not, this product's not in there, but this would be another great option. Clarifying shampoos are also really good. If you swim in a pool, you get your hair wet because it can help remove that chlorine residue that otherwise can you know, mess up your hair. So I'm really happy with those. I just finished filming my skincare empties video for y'all and I have a lot of stuff to take the recycling. I've, I've got a lot of videos talking about dandruff, otherwise known as seborrhea. There are a lot of great ingredients for addressing dandruff. Zinc pyrithione is one of my favorites. It's the active ingredient in head and shoulder shampoo. Uh, but I recently came across this on Amazon and I really love it. I don't actually have dandruff, but uh, I use dandruff shampoos from time to time. And this one I've been really impressed with. Scalp control, not only does it have zinc pyrithione, which helps cut down on the little yeast that aggravate dandruff and seborrhea, but it also has salicylic acid in it that can help remove some buildup and help with scalp oiliness. It's a really good ingredient in a dandruff shampoo. This has that, um, I mentioned this in my skincare empties video. There's, a, there's quite a bit of lather with this. Let me know, I, I remember mentioning this in a monthly favorites video. Let me know if any of you tried it out, but I was, I've been really happy with it as an anti-dandruff shampoo. You also can use that as a body wash if you get the skin condition um, Tinea Versicolor. There's little patches of discolored skin that later turn white, more problematic in areas where you have a lot of sweat and oiliness, all related to that little Malassezia yeast. Lathering up those areas with an anti-dandruff shampoo, letting it sit on the skin for a few minutes and then washing it off can help control that skin condition and um, doing it a couple of times a week can help keep it from coming back. That would be a great one because it's got that soap berry, it lathers well on the body. I really like that one. And it's got the salicylic acid, which may help in the improving the penetration of the zinc pyrithione into the skin. All right, and then lastly, we've got a few like non-shampoo conditioner products. I mentioned that I blow dry my hair. I blow dry my hair, but I'm not actually drying it. I'm just heat styling it with a blow dryer. I blow dry my hair when it's fully dry. So I shampoo my hair at night and I get all the water out with one of those Aquas hair towels and it's like 98% dry. And then by the time I get in bed, it's all dry. But the following morning, my hair is like looking all messy, <laughs> not like, like flat. It's very all over the place. I look like I just rolled out of bed. So to get it 
whipped into shape, I run the blow dryer over it to straighten it. And I like using this blowout cream. So I actually put this on the night before while the hair is still damp. And then the following morning, I use the blow dryer. So this is already on my hair and the hair is fully dry. And that just further helps cut down on frizz, dryness, brittleness, and breakage. Um, this is the brand Scene. This is their fragrance-free blowout cream. But they also have a scented one. Vegan, color safe. If you're looking for a heat protectant, try this one out. Speaking of function of beauty, y'all know this hair mask I adore. I finished it up. I get mine free of fragrance. This is another thing that you can customize in terms of scent, color, and you get your name on it. But this really helps with, uh, if you've got hair that's prone to breakage, it's, it's great for that. It really just leaves the hair extra glossy, extra manageable, extra bouncy. It's really good. I actually use that on the day that I use the clarifying shampoo. I will follow it up with that uh, because I you know, wanna help keep the hair from getting tangled. Clarifying shampoos, because they are a bit more intense in terms of the surfactants, they can leave the hair more uh, brittle, prone to breakage. It's also a great product to use after you use the anti-dandruff shampoos, a lot of those Likewise, can be a little harsh on the hair strands, so I really enjoy that mask. But this bad boy, this is a last empty, I love, this is from Amazon, I got it on Amazon. It's the Biolodge Hydrosource Conditioning Balm. This product lasted me exactly one year, which is good because it is good within 12 months of opening. And it, it basically lasted me exactly a year because I got it a year ago, pretty much, as of the filming of this video, and I finished it up like last week. So it pretty much lasted me an entire year. I say that because it is expensive, but man, it really does do a good job. Similar to the Function of Beauty one, it does have fragrance, and I actually like the scent. I mean, it smells like, if you've ever smelled the Matrix Biolage products, you know what I'm talking about. They all kind of smell the same, at least the ones I've tried. Um, but this is, this is not a product to, to pass up if you were looking for a good hydrating conditioning hair mask. It's great to use after an anti-dandruff shampoo or a clarifying shampoo. If you heat style your hair a lot um, and you're finding that your hair is becoming dry, that's a wonderful thing to use. Also, if you color treat your hair, chemically process your hair in any way, you know, it can become very brittle. Probably looking for a good hair mask. I would highly recommend that one or the Function of Beauty one. But if you don't wanna deal with the Function of Beauty, like having it delivered all the time, try the Hydrosource one. It is, it is a great one. Another good hair mask um, is by this company called Soraya. I will link it down below. That one I was super impressed with. It's meant to be used like after you color treat your hair. I love that one. That one I haven't talked about in a while, but that would be another good one if you were in the market for a good conditioning hair mask. All right, y'all, those are my hair care empties. I know it seems like a lot, like how has she been shampooing and conditioning her hair this much? I do shampoo my hair every single day, but as, an, as a disclaimer, I've been, many of these shampoos and conditioners have been in progress for well over a year. And so I kind of had to crack down, <laughs> cut myself off from buying more and finish up what I had. And I'm one of those people, unless I hate something or it's causing a skin problem, even if I hate something, um, unless it's causing a problem, I will pretty much use it in its entirety. And so yeah, finish those up. But let me know in the comments what kind of hair care products you're liking these days. Uh, is there anything you want me to try out as far as shampoo, conditioner, styling products? I don't like spray hair, use hairspray or anything, but I might dabble in that if you guys wanted something like that. Anyways, let me know in the comments what kind of hair care products you're loving these days. I hope you enjoyed this video. On the end slate, it's gonna be my skincare empties video. In case you missed that, go check it out. I finished a lot of stuff that I covered in that video. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.